hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to remove or disable your header and footer now you might have reasons why you want to remove or disable header and footer it depends on you maybe you want to create your own custom header or footer or maybe you just want to you know remove your header and footer and then have um just a landing page where there is there is no header and footer now this um what i'm going to show you works in almost every theme um that you will use okay so that is what we're going to do now we're going to um do three things now the first one is adding a custom css code okay so we're going to add some custom codes um to remove the header and then footer now this one will completely remove header and footer from um every page of your website okay so that is the first one now the second one also is to use elementor so you can use elementor to remove header and footer from a page that you want um no header and then no footer okay so you can also do so and then we also use another one which we also use a plugin okay so we're going to use a plugin to also disable the header and then footer so without wasting my time let's get into the video now the first one that we're going to do is to use a custom code so um to be able to use that custom code i'll leave the link in the description so that you can be able to go and then copy the custom code from my website now just click on customize over here okay or you can go to your um you know your your back end and then go to appearance and then you click on customize but if you're on the page just click on customize over here and then um scroll down to what it says additional css okay so over here in wordpress we have something we call additional css just click on it and then you can add any css code now as you can see i have this um, css code added to it to do some functions on the website now what i want to do is to just completely remove the header and then the footer over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some css um you know code over here so i'm going to copy this one first i'm going to copy use this one and then come over here and then just um, paste it over here so as you can see the header is what is removed now if i um, delete this code you see that the, the header is back now i'm going to paste this header over here and then i will publish it okay and after publishing if i come if i go to the um you know the web page now let me just copy let me copy the the url over here and then paste it over here you're going to see that there is no header over here okay so um this one works on almost every page so if you go to a different page you're going to see that there is no um, header over there also so all the other pages will not have header and then footer okay and that is what and that is with the first one so um with the footer also we can go ahead and then you know add the code that i'm going to show you over here so i'm going to just copy this one okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove um as you can see i'm going to remove this menu okay so i'll give you the code in the um in the you click on the link in the description and then you can be able to go ahead and copy the code just copy the code and then you can see that there is no footer also over here so i'm going to publish it and if i go to the front end of the website now this is the footer but if i refresh the website right now you're going to see that the footer will be gone okay so as you can see there is no footer over here so that is the first um um you know the first one that you can use um, to to just remove it and footer from your entire website now the next one is also to use elementor so i'm going to just remove this one over here i'm going to remove this one over here and then publish it back and then we're going to have our header and then footer also back over here so as you can see we have the header and footer back now we're going to use the next one is we're going to use elementor to be able to help us remove the header and footer from specific pages okay so from um each page what we want to do is to use elementor now install elementor if you don't have let, let me go to my dashboard and then um if you don't have elementor make sure that you will 
be able to have Elementor installed on it. Okay, so I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro, but Elementor free version will be able to um, do that. So if I go to plugins over here, see that I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro, but Elementor, this the free version will be able to help you do that. So I'm going to just go over here and then just search for um, Elementor. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, this particular Elementor website page but i just install it okay and activate it and then after installing and activate you go to your pages okay and then let's say you want to remove header and footer from the home page okay so um just click on um you know just edit the page so i'm just going to what edit the page okay so because i'm using um you know elementor hosting that is why you are seeing all these things but um, if I'm going to edit it with WordPress, but with you, you just click on edit. Okay. And then you can be able to come over here. Now you see that this one says default. Okay. So you can click over here and then change it to any um, one. Now we're going to use Elementor Canvas. Okay. So that is what we want to, what to use. Now Elementor Canvas doesn't give you a header and then footer. So I'm going to change this one to Elementor Canvas and then click on update over here. All right, so if I come over here and then I click on refresh, you're going to see that I don't have a header over here and I don't have a footer also over here, meaning that my header and footer is gone. Now, let me just come back over here and then show you something. Let me just move it back to the default over here and then click on activate, um, update, sorry. And then let me just refresh the website. You see that the header is, is here, is back. And then also the footer is back. So you can do this in all the pages that you want to, to do. So let's say if I want to remove the header and footer from um, a particular what page. So let's say um, I want to remove it from a contact page. Okay. So I can do so. I can just um, click on more options, edit with WordPress over here. And then I'll come to um, default and then I'll change this one to canvas. Okay. And then I'll click on update. Now, if I go to the front end and then I go to contact over here, you're going to see that there is no header and there is no footer. Okay. Because I have removed the header and footer from it. Now, let me just come back over here, remove it from canvas and send it back to the default. And then just click on update over here. Come over here and then click on refresh. You see that the header is back and then the the footer is also what also back so this is the second method okay so um the first method was to use the css code and then the the, the second method is to use elementor okay just elementor free version that is it so that's the, what the second method now um let's let's go to the third method is also to use a plugin okay so we're going to use a plugin to be able to help us remove the header and then footer all right, so the third method that we're going to use is also to install a plugin and then use that plugin to be able to help us remove the header or design our own header and footer. Okay, so to be able to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins over here, over on plugins and then click on add new plugin. And then what we're going to search for is header and footer. Just search for header and all right so this is what we are looking for okay so this right here which says elementor header and footer builder so we're going to click on install now and then we'll click on activate to activate the plugin all right so um what we will do is um it's also very simple now since we have the header and footer activated now we can go ahead and then use the header and footer build uh, builder to be able to help us remove it so what we are going to do is um we're going to um you know go to appearance over here now under appearance you're going to see elementor header and footer builder over here so just click on it and then you'll be able to what, add a new header so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new header over here and i'm just going to skip this one and then i'm going to say this one is what header okay so i'm just going to call this one header and then the template type is header okay and then um you know display on where do you want it to display you choose maybe the entire site or some specific pages so i'm just going to choose and start entire site and then um you know user roles if you have any user roles you want it to be displayed to you can be able to what choose it okay so 
maybe to all logged in user or all logged out user whoever it is you can be able to use it and then also um i think that is it now it says enable layout for elementor canvas template so if you want to enable this one for elementor canvas you can do so now what we have to do is just publish it okay so after publishing it you have created a header but the header is empty so if you go to our website over here and then refresh this one you're gonna see that there is no header and then there is no um there there is a footer because we just we just created the header okay so you realize that there is no header now there is no header because the header over here is empty we haven't we are not like you know yet editing it yet or we haven't edited it yet okay so it is empty so with this strategy you can be able to use it to what to create or disable or remove the what the header from your website now we can use this same strategy in removing the footer okay so we will also go ahead and then add a new template over here so just click on add new template and then we'll call this one footer and then we we'll select the option over here and then say we are creating a footer all right so now that we've created um, we selected the, the template type as footer we display on the entire site okay and then the user rule it is basically all user rules then now let's publish it and now let's go back to our website over here and refresh it and see how it looks like all right so let's scroll down and as you can see there is no footer over here it has removed the footer from our website okay so that is how you can be able to remove header and footer now with this plugin if you want to design your own header you can go ahead and use edit with elementor to be able to design your own header and then footer now i remember i created um you know how to design your own header and footer custom header and footer on this same um website using this plugin so you can i'll leave a link in the description you can be able to go and check it out so this is how you can be able to remove your header or disable your header and then footer from your website now we talked about three strategies or tr three methods the first one is to use custom codes custom css codes and the second one was to use elementor and then the third one was to use a plugin elementor plugin um header and footer plugin to be able to help us remove the header and footer from our website hope this one helps you to be able to remove your own header and footer and to be able to design the website best for yourself and then for your client please don't forget to like and subscribe to this um channel and this video so that we grow together thank you for watching see you in the next video my name is kobe bye bye